What is going on everyone? Before we get into today's video, I want to take one second and show you guys the Dive Bomb Industries Airweight Jacket that I am going to be wearing in today's video. This jacket is a great mid-layer jacket if you're really trying to bundle up on those really cold days, or it can be worn as an outer layer like I prefer to wear it. The Airweight Jackets just got restocked. They are offered in a white now, green like this, and then also a tan. If you guys would like to check out the Dive Bomb Airweight Jackets, make sure you guys go down in the description of this video and click on that Die Bomb Industries link. Now, with that said, let's get a hole cut. Don't want to freeze your shaft in here, bro. No, that's all right. How big of a hole do you want? Pretty big. Yeah. Let her rip, brother. Oh, yeah. Way. All right, John, jump in. Dang, that <laughs> See ya. That's a good. Time for your bath, Johnny boy. He you does. Little stinky. This morning slash afternoon, me and Sam, we have been ice camping, and I'm not sure if you guys have seen this video yet or not. We've been camping on the ice, but it hasn't been going as planned. We've been having troubles with the heater, and it's just been kind of a rough start to our camping trip here. But we have Sam's shack set up right outside, and we have all our camping gear in there. And then about five feet over here, we just cut a big old spear hole, and we got my shack set up to do a little bit of northern bow fishing. So I've been wanting to try to bowfish through the ice for a couple years now. Me and Sam talked about it last year and we're going to finally give it a try today. Also, if you guys are going to try this, you have to make sure that it is legal in your state. But with that said, we got old Sammy boy and he is jigging the old spearfishing decoy. And if you guys haven't spearfished, we'll have Sam reel that up quick and show you guys how this Ooh, works. Look at that boy. Spinning. There's a lot of different decoys out on the market, but... I wanted to go with a sucker. Usually they're shaped like a northern or just like a perch or something. But this one's shaped like a sucker in our case. It's white and red and it's got these little wings here. So it glides in the water very nicely. It's got holes in the top and bottom. So that way, you know, put it in the water. It'll fill up with water and it sinks just like that. And you just give her big rips. And that doesn't have any hooks on it. That's literally nope. just to decoy just the fish decoy. in. Yep. So that way when the fish bite it, they don't get hooked. Hey, they'd up. be easier to hit then. Hey, that is true. <laughs> Let's add some hooks to that and we'll be right back. String the old bow up. I'm going to be running one of my favorite setups if you guys haven't been subscribed to the channel or seen much of the bow fishing stuff. This is what I usually run. We got a PSE Nighthawk recurve bow. This is the 45 pound limb setup. And then I just got a muzzy reel on the end of this sucker. And it's a pretty basic, simple setup. I'm running just fingers with a little glove on here. And I love this setup. So just put a new string on it for this trip. The other one was pretty frayed and beat up. And hopefully we can break the new string in on a fish here. Raise him as high. Just wait. Get him on the top. 
Here it comes. Oh, that dirty it dog. Might come back. It might come back. <laughs> oh, oh, it's back. It might come, come back. It might come back. <laughs> Try something, he wasn't yeah. too sure about it. He's got a cleft lip, dude. Yeah. Let him run. Yep, yep, yep. Nice, dude. Let's go. Move that. Yep. No, let him run. Yep, yep, yep. Nice, dude. Good shot. Let's go, bro! Woohoo! That's a nice fish. That's a good one. All right, first pike through the ice for me and Sam with the bow and arrow. It's definitely a skinny fish for a 32 inch pike, but nonetheless, a nice fish. And that was crazy, that was exciting. But we're gonna get this guy on the ice and see if we can get another one to come in. But that was freaking awesome. That was. Good shot, buddy. Thank you. Woo! About the same size as that one. Yeah. That angle's bad, though. Yeah, I know. Hopefully it comes around. You'll come back around and jump it down. Come back, come back, come back. Maybe. Dang. Bro. Right on the edge of them again. They're so skinny, it's kind of tough. Oh, yeah. When they're out like that way more, it's mm -hmm. definitely easier than like, because right here, I'm just like leaning over. Right. Like you're, Yeah, no, that was a tough shot. Yeah. All right, well, that was the first fish that came in since the one that you just saw us shoot last. And that didn't take too long, but that was another nice fish. So rest in peace that we missed that one, but it he, happened. You missed that one. Oh, but we still have a lot of daylight left. So we got a lot more fishing to do and hopefully we can get some more action here. I hope you guys are enjoying this content. If you are enjoying this content, let me know if you want to see more of this on the channel. So drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. All right, well, that pike was at the bottom, and it actually hit the decoy before the cameras were on, but you can see some teeth marks in there, and then it bent one of the fins even. Yeah, it bent this fin. He messed our decoy up, he and then did. he got away. He got away with it. What is up with that? It's all right. Some got to get away. But I had my GoPro epoxied on this mount because <laughs> I've been having technical difficulties with that as well, and uh, the epoxy didn't cure underneath, and that just broke off, so... 
Rest in peace to the GoPro. Two hours later. Oh, hey, brother. Dude, get that heel in you now, brother. Are you cool? Oh, I'm cool. Hey, I caught a walleye. You did? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I saw three pike, and I had none follow me up to the hole this evening. What? So kind of ripped to the pike fishing. It was way better in the morning. I guess so. Rip. All right, well, as you can see, I made it into our camping ice house, and it is finally warm in here. I brought Sam his heater back. He was kind of cold, so I got everything else set up in here, and we are ready to sit in here and fish a little bit tonight. If you guys would like to check out some of the fishing content from our ice camping trip, uh, we've been catching some nice walleyes and some pretty big perch out here, so it's been decent so far, but we have one more night staying here, and that will be probably the next video on the channel, so if you guys want to check out some of the ice fishing stuff, Make sure you guys stay tuned for that next ice fishing video. But tomorrow, me and Sam, we're going to go to a different spot that's a little bit shallower on the top of a road bed. And hopefully, we can see a few more northern there. It was still pretty good, and it was a successful trip for me because I did get one with my bow. So no complaints from me. But with that said, we're just going to fish here tonight, and we will see you guys once we get out and get set up in the morning. Does Sam want a camera besides a GoPro? Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, like, you gotta film the, you gotta film that at least, the screen of that, you know? I'm just an amateur, man, I don't know. Good morning, everyone. Me and Sam just woke up and did a little bit of walleye fishing. It was very slow this morning, so we decided to get out here a little bit earlier than yesterday and try our luck for some northern. There has been some northern over where we were fishing that were starting to come through on the live scope, so we figured, hey, maybe these things are active right now and we should get out a little bit earlier. It is about 9 o'clock right now, and we're going to see if something can happen. Our prime time yesterday was about 10 to 11 o'clock, and then things really slowed down after that, so we're probably going to give it until about noon, something like that, and see if we can get another chance at a fish we ended up with that one yesterday and a few other missed shots but hopefully today is a little bit better or i'd be happy if we could even get one today but sam's already down there jigging the decoy around so i'm gonna move the camera for you guys and we're gonna get the bow set up and see if we can get a fish you think we're gonna get one today bud oh yeah we definitely are there's no way we don't okay that's a good attitude hey at least the and, heater's working yeah and the heater's working so we've been having heater problems i'm not sure if i mentioned that earlier but uh, last night, we uh, used one of John and Dustin's heaters from their shack, and we switched ours out with theirs because their propane tank, for some reason, was working on ours. But Then we brought theirs in the shack, and we woke up at about 6 this morning to the heater not working. So Yep. Classic. But now it's back on for now, but rest in peace to these heaters. We're having problems. Yeah, I, th I moved the decoy to see if I could get him to come up higher. He liked it when it was ripping. There he is. All right, fish number one, unfortunately, was a little bit of a miss there. First fish of the morning, and I shot way over it on the first shot. It was pretty deep, and then the second shot, it came in, and I was like, aim a little bit lower, but not quite low enough, right over its back. But we're going to have some misses today. Hopefully, the next one, we can get a little bit higher. Good start to the morning here. Sam is back down jigging, and we're going to see if we can get one more in here. I 
should have waited a minute. All right, well, rest in peace to me and Sam. That fish broke our decoy off, and unfortunately, that's the only decoy that we had, so now Sam is just running like a normal lure that we cut the hooks off of, and I don't know, it hasn't really been working. We got one fish in, and we brought that one back up, but now it's just been slow for like the last hour, so I think we are going to pack it up, and that is going to be the end of this bow fishing video. But like I said, it was still a great time out here. That was the first time that I have ever done this. We've been talking about it for a couple years now, but it just never happened. But now that we finally did it, it was a great time. Hey, also shout out to my guide, Sam Lehman. If you want to check out his channel, Mindak Outdoors, I'm going to link that in the description below. With that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought about the bow fishing through the ice content. If you guys enjoyed it, click that like button and subscribe to the channel down below the video and we will see you all on the next one. See ya!